I invite you now to join me in this prayer of great thanksgiving. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and a good and joyful thing always and everywhere to give thanks to you, O Lord. You formed us in your image. You breathed into us the breath of life. When we turned away and our love has failed, your love has remained steadfast. You delivered us from captivity, made covenant to be our sovereign God, and set before us the way of life. Holy are you and blessed is your Son, Jesus Christ. By the baptism of his suffering, death, and resurrection, you gave birth to your church, delivered us from slavery to sin and death, and made with us a new covenant by water and the Spirit. By your great mercy, we have been born anew into a living hope through the resurrection of your Son from the dead and given an inheritance that is imperishable, undefiled, and unfading. Once we were no people, but now we're your people, declaring your wonderful deeds in Christ, who called us out of darkness into his marvelous light. When the Lord Jesus ascended, he promised to be with us always in the power of your word, and Holy Spirit. On the night in which he gave himself up for us, he took bread, gave thanks to you, broke the bread, gave it to his disciples and said, Take, eat, this is my body given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. When the supper was over, he took the cup, gave thanks to you, gave it to his disciples and said, Drink from this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. On the day you raised him from the dead, he was recognized by his disciples in the breaking of the bread. And in the power of your Holy Spirit, your church has continued in the breaking of the bread and the sharing of the cup. And so in remembrance of these, your mighty acts in Jesus Christ, we offer ourselves in praise and thanksgiving as a holy and living sacrifice in union with Christ's offering for us as we proclaim the mystery of our faith. Christ has died. Christ is risen. Christ will come again. Lord, pour out your Holy Spirit on us gathered together in this video and on these gifts of bread and wine. Make them be for us the body and the blood of Christ that we may be for the world the body of Christ, redeemed by His blood. By Your Spirit, Lord, make us one with Christ, one with each other, and one in ministry to all the world until Christ comes in final victory and we feast together with Him in His heavenly banquet. We offer this prayer to You through Jesus Christ with the Holy Spirit. All honor and glory is yours, Almighty Father, now and forever. Amen. Friends, this is the body of Christ broken for you. Take now and eat and feast on him in your heart with thanksgiving.
blood of Christ poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of our sins. Take and drink this in remembrance of Jesus and celebrate His living presence. that we drink is it not a participation in the broken body and the shared blood of our Savior Jesus Christ Lord you have given yourself Great bridal feast of bliss. 